Hey crafty friends, welcome back to the old paper lady. If you're new here, welcome and thank you for joining. My name's Lori. I hope you find something that you like and hang around for a little bit. I'm uh, gonna apologize, I did not do the video yesterday. I came home uh, from work and um, ate and fell asleep. I woke up about I don't know, 4 35 o'clock this morning and I said I did not shoot a video today <laughs> so, sorry about that not having a video up yesterday y'all but yeah I was a little tired but you know it's okay so, sorry for those of you who who looked forward to it I'm sorry about that Just to continue working on some tags and stuff. There's a few little tags here. I'm going to back these journal cards. And these I got off of Tamu. Where'd they go? It was in a pack called Break Out of the Cocoon. I think I got, you know, it's most of my stuff I get off of there. I don't, it'll be like the dollar deal or whatever. That That's what I usually get. Is the dollar deal stuff unless it's just something I'm like you I gotta have that you know lacy bits most of that's not that much either and these tag bits if you're new I had uh, made a sample tag set of uh, stamped items and tags and that and then just made copies of them so I have my own tag bases basically with different stamps and stuff from Tamu. And that's what these are. And uh, so that's that. And these were the ones, I need one more set of them to have front and back. And somehow another, I tell y'all what, I cannot wait till my stool gets here. It's, it's a stool that goes up and down with the height of my desk. Can't wait for that thing to get here because I'm sitting here in this chair now. I'm just eye level, you know, with with my daggum uh, desktop. Oh, I got to poke a hole in that. I can't even see to get in them. Hang on a minute. Let me fix this thing. I thought I had it fixed because I sat here. For about 20 minutes waiting for it to go down <laughs> before I started turning on the video and I said well it ain't going flat so I'm, let me just turn the video on maybe it'll work nope nope it's it's the slow sink now and I didn't use my glue yesterday so now I got a glue goober in it That's a good one. It ain't going to come out. Well, shoot, y'all. Well, you can tell it is a Lori video because she's fussing about her chair and her glue ain't working. There we go. Getting all the check marks off. Oh, and I'm going to fuss about work. Well, not really fuss about it. I just, I literally worked myself to death tonight. Which I shouldn't have had to because, you know. Everything was done. All they had to do was keep it caught up. And uh, I was a little upset this evening. That's all right. We're going to work it out. Because, you know, Thursday evenings, uh, got to do the, like, the, uh, the grocery order and cigarettes and all that. So, I was coming in expecting, you know, to just come in take over a shift and just and all that didn't happen but that's okay we're gonna put toppers on these on these medium sized ones i don't know sometimes these uh these people i work with carry a little grudge from one day to the next because you said something to them about their paperwork wasn't right or they're asking where their money is it was missing you know your job 
And so then they uh, try to hoodoo you up when you come in and it's your shift. But surprise, surprise, my boss showed up today and, and that's what got her. He was fit to be tied when he came and saw how the store looked. He was upset. Oh, goodness. I can't get this thing to roll. Okay. But anyways, we got it together. We worked together. Got everything done. In spite of it. I mean, which, you know, I was going... Supposed to have had extra help this evening. So that was another reason as to why... Uh, some people, which it was scheduled, but they did not show up. So, and they're like, oh, well, she's going to have help tonight. So, you know, I was busy doing blah, 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 which was nothing. So, yeah, that's how, that's how it goes. Well, she'll be all right. She can, she'll get it called up, you know, and I was like, if I come in one more day and the stuff's like that and, and I hear somebody say, well, well, we'll just leave it for Lori. Nope. That somebody won't be on the schedule next week. I can guarantee you that because I'll threaten to quit myself if that, if that comes out of one more person's mouth that works there. Because that's what they're doing. They're just leaving it for Lori and I'm tired of it. That, that's uh. Cause they want to spend like you know everybody wants to play play like they're the boss you know like they're informing us of what's going on you know well, I, no you didn't you weren't informing nobody of nothing you was just walking around on your phone all day taking pictures of what everything you put your eyes on and you didn't touch it you didn't stock it you didn't do none of that so that's uh that's where we're at with that mess You know, people are not paying attention is the reason as to why we keep hiring people. Yeah, we got seven or eight people. Guess what? Those seven or eight people keep asking off, at, you know, for the days that they said they could work. So, the next schedule comes out. Oh, I can't work that day. I told you I was going out of town. Was it on the calendar? Nope, it was not. Okay. Well, then, guess what? The schedule's made. And the people that asked off for the other days that had it on the calendar get their get their days first because they did what they were supposed to. They put it on the calendar and requested it off instead of just waiting for the schedule to come out. And it was a day that you didn't want to work, and you thought you were just going to be like, "Oh, well, I can't work that day. I asked off." No, you didn't. Was well, not on the calendar, pumpkin butt. We're going to just take you off the whole schedule all together. Is that okay? And then they, they get upset about that. Oh. I mean, I put you on the schedule for the days you said you could work, and then you tell me that you can't work those. So, I mean, what days do you want to work? That's just pretty much the way it is. I think I'm going to leave that little scruffy little feature. I think I like it. I do think I like that. I'm just, I'm just backing it with that good old book page. Really good writing. And I'm just going to leave that scuffle on there on the top. I like that. You know, because this is a, a supposed to be a grunge journal, right? Right. So let's do a little bit out of my uh, wheelhouse or, or my norm. Let's do a little grunged up stuff. There we go. Yeah, let's just do that. All righty, I like that. What do I do with my scraper thing? I'm trying to fix it where it won't curl up on me. You know, like this part. Yes, I love it. Look, isn't that cute? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sitting like eye level and I'm like, yeah, thinking I got to come way up with it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I did miss y'all yesterday. I really did. And I missed the uh, working on my stuff too. 
because y'all know, and this is already back. I just got to empty these little bits and bobs. I'm just going to do that real quick, like in a hurry, hopefully. But yeah, y'all know I, I, if I don't do my crafty bit, I get stressed. And it's not because of, you know, of anything anyone has said or put any pressure on me other than myself. And I get stressed because this is my, my time, you know what I mean? So this is me, you know, doing what I like to do and what I love. So when I don't get to, which, you know, I had full on intentions of sitting down and making the video and doing this stuff last night, but I, I ate and I uh, fell asleep. Shoot, these are already inked. So that's the backs of these here. The only reason I'm backing these is because it's flimsy paper. This stuff here don't need to be backed as Tim Holtz. So I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on the back of it. Knock the white off. That's all I'm doing. Fixes, fixes them right up. And I've learned that if you... Uh, Take your dauber, and when you ink it, set it down real easy. It won't make the circle circle indentions. See what I'm saying? And sometimes the and I just put a new dauber on this. I'm gonna have to get it done already. I gotta buy me a bunch of extra. I want some of those rounded top ones. See if they work. Cause these here tend to tear apart. I mean, like I hadn't really. I just put a new one on this. I think I did one one journal with it, and now it's a. Uh, which you know, there was a lot of stuff in that journal, and then I there's been a lot of inking done with done with this one with the the book page pockets and all. So I'm just knocking the white off the back of that real quick, like. Okie doke. So then I pulled out all the other bits of bobs over here. Let's see. Oh, I picked that up. I'm going to cut myself is what I almost did. So I do like that bit where it's got the edge inked and then put it on this and then ink that too. I think that's going to be pretty. Alrighty, so let's see. We've covered a chair saga again. We've covered work. Let's see. Me personally, I'm just tired, you know, but hey, that's the way it is. And I said I'm going to wind up going into work some Saturday evening. Here's my glue. So I'll go in and work a little bit Saturday evening, I reckon. Just, to, you know, as a surprise. I'm going to show up and to be like, why ain't this done? Why ain't that done? And why ain't you done this already? Because, you know, that's that's just the way I might start doing it. There ain't no way around it. I, I can already see that. So, uh, and then that way. Oh, yeah, I like that. So then... Oh, I should have put it the other way, because now that's going to be on the bottom. Dang it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Yeah, because I put the other one upside down, accidental. And then the happy accident happened with that little roughly edge there. lose some of them bits but that's okay so yeah I'll have to wind up uh, working just a little I'm going to wind up working about three hours three or four hours Saturday I don't know about Sunday and I may take Sunday Sunday off but I know for sure Saturday's going to I'm going to be there Saturday well, I'll double check and make sure I didn't have that upside down. <laughs> you know. Okie doke. But, yep. So, that would be the plan there. But, 
tomorrow is Friday. I don't know if everybody's going to get paid the first of the month uh, on Friday or if they're going to wait and do it on the third. Because I think most of the people that get paid on the first, because the first falls on Sunday, I think they would wind up getting their pay and disability or uh, what is it, retirements or what have you tomorrow, would they not? That's what I'm thinking, because the first is on a Sunday. So if that be the case, hooey, can't wait till tomorrow night at work. It's going to be fun, fun, fun. Not really. <laughs> I like that little grungy bit there. That's cute. I like that. So we'll save these bits. I could stamp on it. I don't know. We'll put it in the to uh, to. We'll put it in the stamp on box here for my little numbers and and stuff like that. That's what I use that for. All right. We're just gonna try to continue along here to get these done the best we can. Getting, getting their uh, journal card bits done up. And I know most of these have color on them, but I didn't want it, you know, just all uh, just neutral. I wanted the paper to be neutral so you have a lot of journaling spots in it. And then I think I'm going to do like 10 to 12-ish. Um journal pages and then fold them in half you know but I may wind up having to make some more pockets if I if I do 12 to 15 I know I'm gonna have to make at least two more pockets for each side front and back of the journal you know so and, and that's why I'm over making journaly bits and then they're neutral so you know if I do not use them in these two journals, because I've already got a different plan for that other one, the the like the the, the freely girly one, the the uh, the pastelly one, I've already got a plan for that. And I think I told you all about it. I was going to uh, print a tall skinny journal and just take the pages and fold them in half, and that's going to be my journal cards or tags for it. And I was like, that would be a great idea. So, so I was looking through Etsy, you know, how you just sit and just, you know, mindful looking, searching and hunting. And, oh, that's so pretty. You know what I'm saying? So I ran across a journal set on there that says it's a tall skinny. So then, therefore, it would be uh, eight and a half by 11. So when I fold it, it's going to be four and a quarter. And then that would be great size tags for that journal. And I said, well, I can do that. I'm just scrunching this up up here. Uh -oh. Scrunched up a little too much. Let's glue you down, buddy. You just want to run away, don't you? There we go. We got you. We got you fixed now, buddy. Maybe. So on the way home tonight, it was heat lightning like crazy. I mean, like the whole sky was lighting up. It was beautiful, though. It was like a bluish purple color. I was just like, ooh, ain't that pretty, but ooh, it's scary. But yeah, so it's heat lightning bad around here. Uh, we were supposed to have some uh, storms come through earlier today, and it went around us and missed us. So, we lucked out on that. I got to ink you before I put you down. And then, uh, so I think it's like 50-something percent tomorrow that it's supposed to rain here. And I know up north, in the northern area of the country, uh, Let's see, like, you know, we're, I'm in North Carolina, so up north of us is like, you know, anything above Virginia, uh, and then it's like north and mid, mid west, or mid north, I don't know how that would be called, but, uh, what is it, Michigan and that, that, that type area there, around in that area, I was watching, uh, 
Ryan Hall, y'all, who's on YouTube, does, you know, tries to keep you updated on the bad weather happenings and the snowstorms and such like that. He's really uh, started off with, like, tracking tornadoes and bad weather like that. And he has a donation uh, thing on his channel for, like, the, the storm chasers, basically, that go into areas where they're chasing the tornadoes and they will help take water, clothing, food, what have you, to areas that get really bad torn up with tornadoes or, you know, inclement weather of any kind, basically, really. I mean, they've been doing... Uh, I got to watching him for, like, the tornado chase type people. And then, so he has since been doing uh, mainly tornadoes, but most, most of... Uh, most of the hurricane situations, they've been having people keep up with that and stuff. I think I'm going to leave, leave that writing on there. That looks fine to me. It's pretty. Oh, that is such a good piece to stamp on. You can put some big, big stampies on that. That one's not as jagged up, but that's okay. We're going to make it look a little jaggedy. I'm just going to make it look older than what it really is. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. So, anyways, Ryan Hall, y'all, was talking about on his channel about how uh, the weather threat was coming through in, like, the, the I guess it would be the central area of the country. Not really Midwest, you know, from basically Montana over to the East Coast. So I guess that is the central. So anyhow, he was talking about the weather and how it was not looking uh, looking all that good for this week. About uh, storms and stuff coming through. And I want to say I saw that earlier in the week. Some, like, like Sunday maybe. Sunday, Monday-ish. And then um, I had not kept up with it since then. I knew... That it was supposed to be, I might keep them little strips for collage papers. That would be cute for collage papers. But anyhow, so with all that being said, I was wondering, oh no, you knucklehead. No, I cut it. That's okay. The first two papers that was there were supposed to be my journal card bits. I was just supposed to trim on the sides. That's okay. We'll make a tag out of this, and I got a book, and I'll pull another one out of it. We'll make tags all them. Hey, don't it. Quit running your mouth so much, knucklehead. But anyhow, so there were supposed to be bad storms coming through with, you know, tornadic weather, flood situations, and that sometime this week. And I think they were supposed to be in our area, like, as of, like, yesterday evening, tonight-ish. So, I think maybe that is where that's coming from, the, uh, the lightning part, the heat lightning. But, you know, it was only 102 degrees today. Now, last week, y'all, it was 70. Oh, is that the last page of that that I have? <gasps> there it is. Good. Yeah, so last week, it was 70 degrees pretty much every day here to the point that I was wearing my hoodies to work. Not actual thick hoodies, like my, my uh, spring and fall uh, sweatery, just long sleeve shirts, not actual sweatshirt hoodies, but you know, they have hoods on them, so, and I, cause I went out and I was like, ooh, it's a little chilly, so yeah, okie doke, do not cut you in half, why didn't you tell me that, I, it, it would have told me that if I would looked at it, you know what I mean? Because I knew that I wanted to, because uh, I didn't want to cut that. And I, as soon as I went, whoop, I saw the wings fall, and I said, oh, no. 
Yeah, these just need to be trimmed down a little bit off the edge edges. And I'm just gonna save these bits for collage bits. So my paper is five inches. So I need it to be well no, it's five and a half. So I need these to be at five inches, right? I sure do. So I'm going to do a little strip right here and flip it around and bring it back this way. Do this little strip. And like I said, these bits I'm cutting off of here is just going to be thrown up there in my collage box. All right. And I'll round the corners on that. And let's do this one with the same. We'll do five and a half. I don't want to cut the little peoples, so let's trim there right there first. And all right, so now five and a half is right there. So I need it to be at least five and a quarter so I can get it in the book. I'm going to lose some of that flower, but that's okay. Okay. So those are my belly band pieces. Is what I'm trying to do with them. These will go in behind my uh, belly bands. But yeah, so I hope everybody that's up that way is doing okay. Uh, Miss Betty is up in, in that area. I hadn't heard anything from her, and she's been really bad sick. If y'all would please keep Miss Betty and Floyd, say her uh, name on your prayers, if you would please. Uh, like I said, I don't know for sure if, uh, if she's just, you know, not had time to comment in the last video or so, which I hadn't checked this evening. And like I said, I only put up one video. I know she was sick over the uh, the weekend. So, if y'all would please, she is a very nice and lovely lady. Just the sweetest person as she could be. And her and Patricia and uh, Miss Maggie down there in Texas. They are, you know, day one people that comment pretty much on every video and let me know. You know, hey, don't give up. Hang in there. You're doing okay. We like watching you. So, you know, that's my little my little friends. And uh, they they encourage me when I feel like I'm about to give up. <laughs> they can, they keep me keep me in check. You know, because um, I know you all know. Last week I was kind of uh, down and out for somewhat most of my videos I was you know kind of quiet didn't really say a whole whole bunch and uh you know just basically just sat here and just scrapped you know quietly did talk a little bit but not a whole whole lot and plus too I was kind of under the weather myself a little bit last week but a lot of it was I was letting the YouTube algorithm and the uh the up and downness of it mess with my head last week Honestly, I let it hurt my feelings because uh, I noticed that YouTube really was not sharing or uh, suggesting my videos. And then when I was uh, uploading my, because uh, see, I just look at it on my phone most of the time. I don't get on my laptop unless I'm uploading a uh, uh, design team project or what have you. Because I get on there and, and put the links to the Ko-Fi sites and all of that stuff. So when I was on there and I was, you know, doing the links for the Ko-Fi and stuff, I noticed that I had lost a, a couple of subscribers and I had a couple of videos that people had disliked. And that hurt my feelings. I'm not going to lie. I did. And I was like, well, if you disliked it, why would you say that? Why wouldn't you just just not watch it <laughs> but you know you you know I mean, you can't take things personal i do understand that and i know that and most of the time i don't but 
and a lot of it too was where I, you know, I was sickly. I'm not going to lie. I, you know, it, it seems like, you, you know, you're sickly and things affect you more than they normally would or what have you, but, and so I let that mess with me last week. And then I was almost to the point of, uh, just like, you know, well, it doesn't really matter if I should put a video up today or not because people aren't liking them anyways. You know, that type of stuff. But Miss Betty Ann and Miss Maggie and Miss Patricia, you ladies, I tell you what, uh, y'all are the cheering this club of people, of nice ladies I've ever encountered i you know i almost said met but i hadn't met y'all yet and i would love to that would be just so nice but just cheer you on and just lift you up and just yeah i, I appreciate you ladies because y'all do comment about every video i do greatly appreciate it you know i may not always have time to uh respond or answer back and if you do we'll leave a question or have a question about where I found something or got something. I, I am, I do try my best to get, you know, to leave those. But most of the time I'm at work and I'll see, you know, the comments or what have you. So I'll uh, heart react to them. And that is done. And I like that. Them are cute. I like them. Can you see them? Yep, I like that. So... But yeah, I hope Miss Betty is fine and dandy. Because uh, my whole crowd, let's see, my daughter-in-law, <clears throat> she tested positive for COVID last week. Well, I hadn't been around her. Because uh, they live in, uh, well, they actually live in uh, the next county down from me. Now, this is uh, my son and daughter-in-law were, you know, when we had the hurricane come through our area and flood issues and that their apartment flooded so now they've gone through that uh, found out that you know their apartment does not have mold in it so they are okay to finally go back to their apartment now mind you now they're gonna have they, they're gonna have to pay rent uh, Monday on the apartment they've only been able to stay in for a week this month so that kind of ir a little bit irritating but any anyways so so she had COVID, tested positive for that. Uh, the grandbaby, uh, she uh, came home over the weekend and she had the sniffles. But, you know, she that that was basically it. She had the sniffle, sniffles and the upset belly because the stomach bug's going around in school. And then uh, my youngest daughter, Cause, you know, like last week I was sick. I had the headache, the, the sniffles, the, the upset stomach and all, all of that. And it just felt bad the whole week. But then, now this week, my youngest girl, she's, uh, she's real bad with the sniffles and, and, uh, getting hoarse and just the coughing and all of this and that and. She's took two COVID tests. Both of them are, are negative. She actually took one that had, uh, where like, I didn't know that you could buy over the counter uh, tests for, uh... <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, that choked them on the spit. <laughs> I didn't know that you could buy over the counter uh, tests for, or test at home, I should say, for, uh, the flu and the COVIDs and all of that. So she got a COVID test and they uh, flew A and B. I think it was A, B, and C over the counter and took it. It was like 30 bucks. Took another one. She took one, uh, I think it was, we all, we all here in my household when I came home last Thursday evening. And I was like, we need to take one just in case because the people across the street from the store their all their kids had it and they were in and out of the store all week so I was worried that's what I had gotten but it was just a stomach bug so then but yeah so I mean everybody has been sick now my mom she's not been sick my dad he's he's not been sick 
other than his uh, blood count and stuff low. Now, mind you, my older two do not live in our household. Uh, it's, just, it's me, my mom, and my baby girl. Or, you know, the youngest daughter. She's 21. She's not a baby, but she's my baby. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, basically, everybody around here is just coming down with the, with the crud. Like, the whole... Everybody you talk to around the county, you see, you, you talk to, everybody's had something or, you know, getting over something or whatever. And a lot of it, everybody's blaming it on school going back. It's just nuts. So then, uh, also this week, speaking of school going back, the first week of school, they had the school shut down Friday afternoon because there was a gang of students that thought it would be fun to do a TikTok fighting video and uh, all that mess. And this is at a local high school here. So there's some kind of TikTok video going around where all the kids are supposedly doing a fighting video. So they had the school locked down for that Friday afternoon. Then uh, what was yesterday? Yesterday was Wednesday. I'm shooting this Thursday evening. So yesterday, Wednesday, they had the school locked down because someone reportedly said that they had a weapon in their car at school. So the school was locked down half a day for that already. So now my thought is, me being the kind of parent that I am, if the school had contacted me and told me, you know, that my child was up there causing havoc and, re and wreaking havoc and shooting a YouTube or a TikTok video about a fake fight breaking out and nobody knowing what was going on, just, you know, just craziness, my child would be uh, not able to sit down for a good month. Not these parents. These parents actually got mad at the school. Well, they're just expressing themselves, they said. So the school uh, said that they were going to express themselves and it's suspend them for two weeks. So that takes, uh, the one fella takes his football out from underneath him since he's suspension. And he's a senior. So there goes his uh, two weeks of big games. He's not going to be able to play because he was an idiot. You know, I mean, you're a senior, that's, that, and you're a good football player and potential, uh, what is it, scouts coming to look at you from colleges and this and that. Now, why in the world would you do something that dumb to mess up your whole future, you know, that you've worked for all, the, you know, pretty much your whole life, basically, at this point? Because you don't come that good to where, you know, scouts are coming to look at you in high school to see if they want you to come uh, be a member of their college football team and offer you a scholarship. Now, why would you be so just nonchalantly just willing to fling that away because of a daggum TikTok? I mean, so my suggestion would be to the parents, if I was a leader of the school, would be to... Uh, you have parental control over the phone. If you do, then maybe you need to start taking a little bit more uh, parental uh, rights of, uh, you know, take TikTok off the phone. You can put parental rights on the phone where I can't access that. And you can also uh, do it without touching their phone. If they are under underage and you pay the phone bill, guess what? That phone is yours. You are able to do what you want to with it. So I don't, I don't like to hear a parent say, well, you know, my kid's on their phone 24 hours a day, blah, 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 blah. Well, guess what? Your kid does not pay their own phone bill and your kid is underage, then guess what? That is your fault. Purely your fault. I mean, I'm sorry. I may offend people with that, but that's just, you know, yeah, that's, that's just the way it is. If your kid's on their phone 24 hours a day and you're complaining to the school teacher 
about they need to do something with them, honey, you are the parent. It is your job for you to make sure that your child is doing what they need to do, not the, t the school teacher. They are not to raise them. They are not the babysitters. They are to teach them. And if they can't teach them because you have not done your job as the parent to make them understand, you know, hey, this is very important, you know, for your education, for, you know, you need to stay off your phone, quit doing dumb stuff, then guess what? I mean, it ain't nobody else going to do it. It ain't nobody else's responsibility but you as the parent. All right, I'm going to get off of that. <laughs> So, I, that, I was just amazed as, you know, as to already what is going on at the local high school around here. At not even a week and a half. Well, this is, this will be their second week. Because, you know, they go, they uh, started off. Actually, no, this is their third week. This week is. Because uh, they were supposed to have gone back the 8th and they wound up putting that off because of the hurricane they made them go back the 12th but yeah so and the only reason i know all this because i'm friends with teachers you know the one she was like yeah and the parents were just you know pretty much blaming us it was our fault <laughs> she said so then the principal just had to pretty much do what she had to do she said either you know they were going to they were going to have to suspend them, you know. And pretty much, I mean, you know, the sheriff's office got involved in the fight. And, uh, and this, uh, supposedly having a gun or a weapon. I don't know. It, it said weapon. Had a weapon on campus. And that can range from a gun to a BB gun uh, to, uh, you know, a knife. It just said weapon. It didn't say of what kind. So, yeah. So, the police sheriff's department was involved in that. So, I mean, you lucky the sheriff's department didn't take your child to jail. Which was what should have happened, to be quite honest with you. I mean, you know, that's very serious. You know, for pretty much half of, half of two days... Parents didn't know if their kids were actual being attacked or, you know, come to find out the one day it was just a bunch of kids trying to uh, shoot a TikTok video doing a fake fight. <clears throat> now, me, if my kids were still in that school, would have, uh, I probably would have got me a, a lawyer and uh, pushed it until the students that were involved in both of those situations did have uh, charges brought against them, to be honest with you. Or the parents won. I mean, you know, really. But a lot of times, uh, these kids that do act out in such ways as that, really their parents are nowhere to be found, to be quite honest. They're being raised by grandma and grandpa because, you know, the parents ran off and dropped them. But, yeah. So, yeah. So that's kind of just my five cents worth of on that subject. You as a parent, that's your, that's your responsibility to make sure how your child conducts themselves in public. I mean, really, it is. I mean, the kids at that age, they're in high school, you know what I'm saying? So, somebody long before them, uh, before the poor teacher, should have taught, you know, taught those kids different. You know what I mean? Because at that age, you know, they're young adults. You know, maybe, maybe not quite uh, at adult adulthood, but, you know, pretty much young adults. They know way better from right and wrong. You know what I'm saying? Than grade school children do. Oh, I just ripped that. I'm going to have to get me another one. That's okay. But yeah, there's just no sense in that nonsense already at the beginning of school year.
Okay. Well, I'm going to have to get me another pad because I just completely ripped that one and pulled one off of there. Or no, wait a minute. Let's, let's fabric tack it. See if that'll work it. Because if I do that, then I'm going to have to beat the heck out of that ink thing to get it good and inked up like that to where I can do those things with. Maybe it won't go through. Is that going to go through? Yeah, that fabric tack will go through that. And let's not do that. It's just got a new ink dauber. So the heck with it. Look, I got this one here that I was using on the, uh, I was using on the, uh, antique linen. So we'll just use that. It's already broke in. <sighs> See, just when it gets good and juiced up where you don't got to ink it every two seconds, something happens. <laughs> I don't want to waste paper back in these because these are thick so that's why I'm trying to ink them I don't need to put paper on them to back them because they're thick cardstock it's just the white on the back It's not working on this here because it's not good and soaked up in it. So if I do it, it's going to be circles. Just fine. Okie dokie. So yeah, that's what's going on in my neck of the woods for the last couple of days. craziness of a small town basically is what's going on <laughs> so my question was to the uh, to the teacher that was telling me all of this because uh, he goes I'm he goes I know you're probably glad your kids are out of there and I said oh yeah because it was about to get it was getting, um, like a lot of the middle school kids are have this entitlement about themselves that were coming up uh, the last year that my, one of my kids was there. And uh, she was like, Mama, you would just not believe that these freshmen that are coming in are just, you know, thinking they're running the place. She's like, I don't, she's like, we weren't like that. And she's like, and all the grades before us weren't like that. She's like, I don't know what's going on with these younger kids. And I started laughing. I was like, honey, you're only like four or five years younger than you. She's like, no, really, mama, these these kids. And she's like, no, these kids are really just something else. She's like, they just act like, you know, everybody is supposed to owe them something. You know, uh, you're supposed to do for me and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, it is a mess. She's like. Every day, the resource people have to call some something about police or something up there. And she's like, and it's not always in the news, and it's not always posted on Facebook. She's like, but, you know, <clears throat> we as students go there, so we see it. She said, but she's like, yeah, half of the stuff that is posted on Facebook or you see is, she's like, yeah, it's way more than that happening. And, and she goes, but... Yeah, she's like, you just, I'm going to use some of these papers from that Molina kit to back this with. I think, I think that'll help it. I don't know. I think I will. 
but yeah, she, uh, she was telling me that, and I was like, are you kidding? She's like, no, mom, I'm not. She's like, I'm telling you, these kids are just nuts. <laughs> Let's just back them in here and just be done with it. But yeah, so I started laughing. I was like, you sound like an older, older person. Like these kids, mama. <laughs> but yeah, she was telling me that. She's like, no, you wouldn't believe how these kids act. She's like, they just act like, you know, everybody's supposed to just bow down to them and, you know, answer to them. She's like, where do they get it? this entitlement from. I was like, I don't know, honey. I was like, y'all, y'all's a grade and a couple of grades before y'all didn't act that way. She's like, no. She's like, but these new, new high schoolers, and she, she said new high schoolers is what she said. She's like, these kids act like, you know, you're just supposed to just get out of their way because they're coming. And she's like, who do they think they are? <laughs> and what's so funny is, you know, she's a little bitty. She's, uh, maybe 4'11". So, you know, she's awful short. But, yeah, she was, come home one day and was just upset because some ninth grader basically just kind of, like, pushed her out of the way in the hallway. And she was a senior. She was upset with that. them on there. Nope. I wind up losing some bits. Oopsie. Did you see what I just did? Ugh, big old chunk. Cut it right off the glue stick. Sure did. I'm just going to use it and smear it around. This used papers, you know, kind of dark and whatever, but it's just I'm just using it for glue page and ink pages. That's what I got it for. So it's just my glue book at the moment. another good one that you can pretty much write all over. There we go. That's a good one. You get the eggs done. This one here I'm saving it's got butterflies on it. I'm thinking about folding it in half and making some journal card bits out of it. I'll let that dry just a second before I try to cut them. And that's really no specialty way. So, we're just going to glue them up. And what I did was out of that pack of those, uh, tag on it, of those Timu, uh, special papers, specialty papers. I just took one, uh, there's like three, three of each, uh, prints. I just took one of, of each one and that's what I'm making making a journal card bit out of. dry overnight before I decide to cut them up and round the corners because that is quite a bit of glue on them. I just want to get them done in this 
this here video while we're oh, stop tearing your glue stick up, woman. What are you doing? It's really warm in my house today too, so my glue's a little, little, a little more uh, easy flowing or what have you than normal. Oh, come on, get up here at the top where you're supposed to be. Softer, there you go, softer. The glue's softer than it normally is. Let's see, it, it was quite warm here today. So yeah, we had that false fall last week. Boy, everybody was happy. <laughs> this week, not so much. It was right back up to, you know, the forecasted 90s, but it was 102 on the sign, and I'm probably sure it was probably about 105, 106 heat index is what it was. Oh no, I should have done two long ways and one that way. Knucklehead, are you going to fit? You are not going to fit. You are going to be a little bit short. That was a waste of that one. There we go. Let's just use this corner right here. That'll work. As I uh, put these over into like uh, backing paper pouch because I thought they'd just be good general backing papers. Okay, so I'm going to let these bits dry before I cut them because I want to cut them and corner and well probably not corner around them because all the other ones are not corner around it either, are they? Yep. All right, so we'll let them dry a little bit. off here then yet yak about everything I can get yak about and complain about and you know get my rent rave two cents worth on <laughs> so I think I'm gonna call it a day and uh, we'll come back tomorrow evening we'll cut those journal cards apart and get them inked up and fixed up Put the toppers on these, and then uh, we'll be should be about ready after that. Try to get our uh, get this journal put together. So I think we got enough bits. I may may have to do two more pockets for each side, just depending on how many papers I put in it. So I didn't really want it overly decorated, but I did, you know. I did want some pretty, pretty decorative spots in it. And I think with all of this here, this should be pretty good. Now I'm going to put these under my mat. Just keep them from curling so bad. And I'm going to stick the paper out so I'll remember that they are underneath there. Because <laughs> if you've watched me for any time, you know that I'm bad to uh, do this put it under my mat so it doesn't curl up and uh, we'll find it like two or three journals later. We did quite a bit today. So got this and this and this and this. We did uh, we cut them, rounded them up, inked the backs. Backed all this and fixed all of these. I don't think I'll ink them back. It's off white. I really do like that top bit though. I like that a lot. Yeah, so we got two for each side of them. And these other ones here, we'll just cut around it and ink around them. Leave them just, you know, square. And then we inked around all of this bits and did the backs on them. So it's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 18 finished. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Where'd they go? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got 16. All we gotta do is cut, is uh, we gotta put the tops on these. Yep. Put the toppers on them. And we gotta cut these out and eke, eke around them. That's it. And that'll be all of our ephemera bits. Well, we did a lot in today's video. Shoot. That's pretty good. Pretty good. So I'm gonna take all of these scrappy bits here and put them in my little box down here. Just because I don't think I'll need them. So like when I make glue pages and stuff and, and I'm gluing, I'll just fold it up and glue it together. I'll make it, you know, like a tag piece or a pocket piece and I'll stick it in this, uh, stick it in this bucket down here. And that's mainly what I wanted that for. And these are some pieces I was just working on some ephemera bits for. And this is just some cut off papers that I thought would be good for a collage bits or to add on to my pockets and stuff. So that's what that is. And all of this bits here will uh, go up here in our collage box. Okie dokie. Thank you all so much for watching and come along in uh, this adventure of making these journals. I've, I'm having fun with these. So I think I think it's gonna be a good good little journals so i think what i'm gonna do with this paper is since it's got butterflies on both sides is i'm gonna try my best to uh, fold this in half and glue it i may use that in the uh in the other tall journal yeah i think i will because it's got butterflies on both sides and then I can put some decorative bits on it. And this is not on my 40 pound, this is regular 20 pound copy paper. And I'm gonna glue that. And then these are just regular backing papers, so I'm gonna put them up. Well, I said I was gonna put them up pulling out everything but the right pack <laughs> all right and again these are part of that kit that i got from the uh melina 1202 off of etsy it's like 400 uh backgrounds of eight eight and a half by 11 and i only printed off 100 of them so i still got 300 of them to print <laughs> so i'm we're slowly but surely working my way through that and i've made a couple you know, ephemera builds and journal. I actually made one whole journal piece with the ephemera pieces that I made from that. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with that piece. I'm gonna put it up here with the other journal. Alrighty. So I think we are good to go for today, y'all. Y'all have a good night and uh, enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your family, enjoy your crafting. And uh, we'll, we'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you.